Well, there is a saying which says, coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is a progress and working together is a success. I think what NSA could achieve thus far is because we have been working together as a team. And I hope the culture of working together continues even in the days to come. Well, since many years, the NSA has been in conversation with so many scholars, not only from India, but from across the globe. And we really thank them from the bottom of our heart, our heart for their meaningful contributions for the success and the progress of the Naga Scholars Association. Well, we have compiled uh, some videos and messages from some of the personalities who have been associated with the Naga Scholars Association. So let us listen to what they have to talk about the Naga Scholars Association. Thank you. you know, I have been following the developments in the Northeast for the last 25 years. And for the last few years, I had the privilege of participating in some of the activities of the Naga Scholars Association. I think the NSA is doing a great service to the Northeast and to Nagaland. I was really impressed with the dedication and commitment of its members and also the openness and eagerness to know more about things which affect Nagaland directly or indirectly. You know, many of the discussions about Nagaland are sensitive, but at the NSA, most of the political, social and security issues, I mean, they were discussed in a very mature manner. Now, my compliments to the outgoing team and best wishes for the new team. I'm sure that NSA will continue to do meaningful work in enriching our knowledge about Nagaland. Thank you. My interest in Nagaland and the Naga society as a field of study uh, grew uh, with uh, Dr. Zuchamo Yanthan's invitation uh, to me to participate in a seminar in St. Joseph's College. After that, I have been closely associated with the Naga Scholars Association and I have been extremely intrigued uh, by the kind of scholarship that this association has put forward uh, across uh, the, over the years. In fact, I have been associated with Naga Scholars Association over the years. Uh, I uh, still have a dream that one day I'll get to see an encyclopedia of Nagaland and of the Nagas compiled by the NSA. I wish the NSA all luck and despite uh, these difficult moments of the corona lockdown, and our reliance solely on the webinars and online. Uh, nonetheless, I think that the Naga Scholars Association is going to emerge even stronger as an academic body of influence among all the institutions of India and abroad. The Naga Scholars Association is an extremely useful platform, not just for academic debates, but also for brainstorming on issues of great policy significance relating to the Nagas, the Indo-Naga political problem, the problem of Nagas in India and Myanmar, and of course many other issues relating to the society, the economy, and the culture of the Nagas. Uh, the importance of this Naga Scholars Association is that it just not brings together Naga scholars as the name would suggest, but also people such as us who have shared a lifelong interest in issues pertaining to the Nagas, wonderful people. And, you know, it's very significant that this platform actually provides for a very open-minded cross-regional debate on Naga issues, something that national level institutes or national level research organizations cannot really perform. Dear friends, I'm delighted to leave this message for the Naga Scholars Association. I am Paul Pimomo, Emeritus Professor of English at Central Washington University in the US. My personal association with the Naga Scholars Association has been very happy and memorable. I was privileged to give that keynote address at its first international conference at JNU in 2015, for which I traveled to India and at the international webinar last November 2020, which I delivered from my home. I think the NSA marks two important related points in Naga intellectual history. The coming of age of the scholarly profession in our society and the internationalization of Naga studies 
as a legitimate area of scholarship in the world. So, a lot can be said about this visionary Naga global institution because that's what it has become. But three brief sentiments will have to suffice for now. First, congratulations to the Naga Scholars Association's leadership team under Dr. Zhamo Yantan for creating an interdisciplinary path for engaged scholarship among Nagas from so many parts of the world. Second, thank you, NSA, for the vibrant and essential professional academic service you have given our people so efficiently. And best wishes to the new leadership team for what's to come. Cheers. I had this rare opportunity of uh, being invited by the Academic Forum of uh, Naga Scholars Association for a couple of events. I should say I am very impressed with the enthusiastic participation of the Naga Scholars in these events. I think this is a reflection of the great efforts put in by an enthusiastic team of uh, the Naga Scholars Association, office bureaus and other enthusiastic scholars. Personally, I have been benefited by learning more about the very colorful and rich Naga culture and tradition. I wish the Naga Scholars Association all success. I am Aung Bani from Futsuro and I am happy to be part of this uh, almost a farewell-like event for the outgoing NSA leaders led by its president, Mr. Zuchamo Yantan. Within the two minutes that is given to me, I will just emphasize on two things which has uh, placed a lasting impression and I am so proud to be associated with NSA, although it has not been as long as some of you might have. The first impression and of course the remarkable achievement of the outgoing team is the networking opportunity that it has enabled the Nagas from across the globe and across the different disciplines. And so I think although there are many organizations, um, Naga organizations, and yet the NSA has so successfully been able to connect the Nagas from ac across the globe and across the different disciplines. And so I think that is a very, very um, impressive uh, impression that I have of, of the NSA leaders. The second, of course, is uh, along with the networking is also the opportunity for Nagas to express their opinions, their perspectives and also their ideas with each other. I think the NSA has given us a good platform to share to anybody who, in fact, anybody who has an opinion to share freely and also uh, to enrich one another. And so I think uh, the NSA in general enabling us to share our ideas is something which is very valuable and I think that will make a lasting impression on the Nagas who have been, a, who have been blessed to be associated with the, the, the team leaders. And so with that very, very uh, short uh, time that I have. I want to say thank you and congratulate the outgoing team and also wish God's blessings on the incoming team so that they will be inspired by the team that is going out to do just as good or even better. 
And so I pray God's blessings on both the teams and I look forward to very fruitful networking as well as sharing of ideas and perspectives and visions with each other even in the days ahead. May God bless. Greetings to everyone at Naga. My name is Peter Decina. I'm the Vice President of the Royal Historical Society in England and it's my pleasure to send you um, congratulations on your celebrations. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone involved in hosting me uh, when I came to give some lectures in February 2020, just four weeks before our lockdown, so really very fortunate indeed. And I gave lectures at JNU and also at Indira Gandhi National Open University. And um, I just want to say how much I appreciated the really very engaged audiences, the really astute questions, and even more so if you see the video, the people who managed to sing along as well. But also, as fabulous hosts, I still have this wonderful gift that you gave to me. So thank you for that. I do hope to come back when all this is over, but in the meanwhile, Greetings from a very small island. Good luck to all of you. Hello friends. Uh, it's great to be with you all on the Naga Scholars Association platform. Uh, I've been associated with uh, the Naga Scholars Association since the time my friend uh, Felix Pedden delivered a lecture on your platform and which generated a lot of discussion and a lot of good conversation. Uh, since then, I have been regularly in touch with the Naga Scholars Association and also had some wonderful uh, conversations with uh, Duchamo Yanthan, who was subsequently the president of Naga Scholars Association. Uh, with him, I've had the opportunity to discuss uh, various themes and topics, uh, which then became a part of uh, your lecture series. Uh, I basically was uh, helping him identify speakers, their potential, uh, you, you know, theme of research and so on, uh, which they would have wanted to share with you. Uh, it is a great platform and uh, it has brought into conversation scholars from India as well as abroad uh, with the, the Naga scholars and the Nagas and uh, it is a great way of moving the Naga Scholar Association and the Naga Society forward into integration with the Indian society as well as the global world. Thank you. I had been invited to give a talk uh, at the Naga Scholars Association, uh, one of their meetings. At the time that we could physically meet, I think it was on education policy or reservation policy, I don't remember which, but I was terribly impressed 
with the turnout and especially with the large number of young people uh, from all over the different universities in Delhi. Uh, it was lovely to meet so many young men and women who were so bright and so engaged and so articulate. And I think the kind of talks that uh, the Naga Scholars Association is holding, even during the pandemic, webinars and others, on important contemporary issues, such as the rights of citizens, the right to preserve one's culture, one's food habits, uh, language, what to wear, whom to marry, what kind of worship that we choose. I think all these things are really important. And uh, I wish them all the best. And uh, I must also mention that I must thank them for the most beautiful Naga shawl that I was presented, which I will cherish and uh, keep very close to my heart. Thank you so much. And I wish you all the best for all your future activities. From 2017 to the present time, the Naga Scholars Association has been playing a very, very critical role in and around Delhi. I wish the newly elected and appointed executive team uh, the very best. May they continue as it has been continuing. The times have been great. Uh, and I was honored in a sense to be one of the speakers uh, during one of the uh, talks that the NSA had organized uh, around a year and a half back. I wish uh, uh, similar success to the NSA in the future. Uh, it was great uh, uh, in uh, continuing with the work that uh, uh, Professor Zukmako Yanthan had done in the recent past. First of all, I want to congratulate the new team and thank and acknowledge the outgoing team, especially my friend Zuchama, who invited me and they advised me to be part of this. So thank you very much. You know, we are going through a very difficult period in our history, a dark chapter. But the Naga scholars and the intellectual community is like a beacon of hope for our society. Once Arnold Toynbee, the historian said, all of history can be written in two little words, challenge and response, challenge and response. And he goes on to say that the progress of a society depends on how you meet the challenge, how you meet the challenge. So you are doing exactly that. You are meeting the challenges that you are that are in front of us. Well, there's a saying that you know that you know. And you know that you don't know. But you don't know that you don't know. And this is the area, the unknown territory that the intellectuals journey into to seek enlightenment enlightenment for our people for our society so with these few words i want to say thank you and i wish you all the best and good luck to you <laughs> hello i am father abraham lota I am very blessed to have been associated with the Naga Scholars Association. The officials had a lot of initiative, were very resourceful, and had keen interest in intellectual and academic vigor. And above all, they really want to contribute to the Naga society in a very meaningful way. I thank them and wish them the very best. God bless. Thank you.
Naga Scholars Association. Uh, my name is Dolly and I would like to send you all my good wishes, my strength and also prayers as you transition to a new team. I was invited to the Naga Scholars Association in the past for a conference and then to host a talk on the politics of food last year via Zoom. I was very impressed how you all were keeping yourself together as a team, as a collective uh, and continuing to have important conversations. It's a very impressive initiative that you all have done. Of course, surely there will be friction, there will be disagreements, and there will be at times miscommunication. But I hope that this initiative will carry on, that all of you together will be able to work uh, seeing each other's strengths and also weaknesses. That is a part of community building. So thank you all so much for giving us this initiative, for helping us to bond together as Naga scholars across disciplines in India and also overseas. This is a forum not only for Nagas, but I think for scholars across race, ethnicity, class that brings us together to showcase what is good and what is vibrant about research, particularly from a Naga research perspective. So thank you once again for this chance, for this opportunity. My good wishes to you all. Bye. Hello everyone, as you know that I have been part of this NSA since many years. NSA is a well-known academic discourse platform. Dear friends, as an outsider, I have learned so much about Naga society and culture in this platform. Apart from this, I have also attended many renowned scholars, talks and over this long period of association with NSA, I have personally matured as a social scientist. I have never seen an association like NSA that all the Naga scholars come together and discuss the problems and issues of the state and disseminate this information to the state leaders and Naga people by publishing in local newspapers. I thank all the Naga scholars and I am very much thankful to the NSA President Dr. Juchamo Yantan for giving me an opportunity to associate, it, to associate with uh, NSA.